Maxville man says his family is stuck in Afghanistan nearly one year after the Taliban's rapid takeover. News for Next reporter Brianna Andrews spoke with Saeed Hasimi about his fight to bring nine relatives to the United States. The Taliban's takeover didn't come as a surprise to Saeed Hashimi or his family. What is surprising is that his loved ones are still there in hiding. My family members are on, on their bad list. So my family has been hiding for almost 12 months. Hashimi says his family members worked with the United States Agency for International Development for a decade. He even says they filed and qualified for the special immigrant visas last year, but nothing came from that. Hashimi then took a different approach and filed a form which allows a U.S. citizen to petition for a relative to come into the country and sponsor that loved one in turn. And what has been the most frustrating part about this entire process? Being disappointed. You know, it's just it's just like, you know, you, you do everything that you could possibly do and there's always a block. This isn't a unique situation. Immigration attorney Ashwin Sharma says there are at least 500,000 cases of backlogs in the U.S. consulate halting this process. There's really no help available. Sharma compared the country's response to Ukrainian refugees versus Afghan refugees. He believes there is a bigger issue at hand. Unfortunately, the, the fact is that our immigration policy does discriminate against certain nationalities. The world is noticing this and it's shameful. For now, Hashimi, like many others, is hoping and praying to one day reunite with loved ones here in the U.S. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.